Live from the Carl Chevrolet Studios in West Des Moines, this is Iowa Live. Welcome back to the program, everybody. It is time to find out what's going on over at the Blank Park Zoo. Jessica Shellhorn joining us right now with a very special friend. Uh, hello, Jessica. How are you? Hi, Lou. I'm doing good, and I have Leo here with me. I'm going to see if I can get him to turn around so you can see his face. Okay. Leo is a prehensile-tailed porcupine. Now, where would we find uh, you know, like Leo and uh, maybe Leo's family in the wild? Yeah, prehensile-tailed porcupines are native to the rainforests of South America. So if you were to go down to the Amazon, you would find them up in the trees. Um, they're called prehensile tail because you can see he's showing off his tail really well. He's got this really long tail, and he uses it to hold on to branches um, when uh, he's up in the trees. Let's see. Come on back out. <laughs> he's excited to go in when I touch. He doesn't like his tail being touched, so he'll come back out. Okay. Yeah, so he... Up in the trees, he eats those, um, he likes to eat fruits. So here today I've got some pears and he's got some cantaloupe and some apples. He was just munching on a peanut as well. And then he also, one of his favorite snacks is corn on the cob. We were just talking before coming on that he loves corn on the cob, which is not something that you typically would think of growing in the rainforest, but here being in <laughs> Iowa, we got to give him some of our sweet corn, right? Oh, and they find that they love it too. Uh, so next time we get some sweet corn, we're obviously going to make a stopover and share some with Leo. But you said his prehensile tail. We saw the tail and uh, here he comes mm -hmm. again. That's cool. Um, but the tail, is it used to, to hang on to the branches when he's climbing or can he support his weight by the tail or not? So not for a very long period of time. He might briefly, if he's going from like a higher branch down to a lower branch, but he's going to use it more to stay secure and keep his balance while he's up in the trees. Wow, you can see, boy, he, he uses his, uh, his front paws and or quote unquote hands uh, real well too, doesn't he? Yep, absolutely. So he holds on to his food and munches it. You can see his big, ginormous, squishy nose. So these guys are nocturnal. Um, uh, during the day, they're typically sleeping. So here at the zoo, since he's uh, an animal that goes on program, <laughs> we have him on a reverse light cycle. So in his enclosure, it's dark right now. And at night, we have the lights on. So he thinks it's daytime. Ah, OK. See, that, Leo, uh, we're talking about you. You saw him scratch his nose. That's what it means when you scratch your nose and somebody's talking about you. But what a neat animal but this is uh, an animal that's in the education department. So when uh, the zoo goes out and visits various locations where people come in and you have animals, uh, Leo could be one of the animals you bring out. Exactly, yep, Leo is one that travels so he'll travel I'm um, not quite the state of Iowa he doesn't like being in a car for too long but he will travel like in the metro um, to schools and libraries daycares senior centers um, and then we also bring him out on programs when you're here at the zoo like if a school comes for a field trip we'll bring him out or to some of our early childhood classes and camp programs they are just so cool I love those animals that is so neat but you said when they go out when uh, the zoo goes out to various locations uh, and there are some opportunities some job opportunities as we understand at the Blank Park Zoo seasonal job opportunities. Tell us about those. Yeah, right now we are recruiting um, for several positions here at the zoo. Um, especially in our education department, we're recruiting for our seasonal education positions. We have seasonal educators who are the ones that work with our animals like Leo and the other animals that we brought on the show before. And they travel the state of Iowa. You also find them inside the park. Um, we're out in Australia. We're in our Critter Corner exhibit. Um, we're going to be at the penguin feedings this year, interacting with guests. Um, so all of those places you can find us here at the zoo and off site. We're recruiting um, some college students or recent graduates for those positions. We're also recruiting several people to um, lead our camp program. So we're looking for lead camp counselors, assistant camp counselors, and camp float staff as well. We've got 1,200 kids coming to camp this wow. summer, so we need lots of people to help um, uh, get them to their activities, engage them in games and crafts, and um, make sure that they're having a great time at summer safari camp. Yeah, how many times, folks, have you been at the zoo and you see uh, one of the employees with one of the animals, working with one of the animals, and you tell your friend that you're with, I want to do that. Well, now you have an opportunity where you can do that. What do people need to do to get more information about the job opportunities and to find out what else is going on at the Blank Park Zoo? Yeah, you can go to our website, blankparkzoo.com, and um, on our jobs page is under 
contact us. All right, wonderful. Well, Leo, you did a great job, buddy, and uh, uh, we promise you we will bring some sweet corn as soon as it's available uh, here in Central Iowa. And Jessica, thank you so much for your time, and do you take care of yourself. Thanks, Lou. Bye-bye. There you go. Bye, Leo. All right, things we can't celebrate today. It's Read in the Bathtub Day today. Develop Alternative Vices Day today. Toothache Day is today. And what a coincidence, Chocolate Day on Toothache Day. But most importantly, go have some pizza. It's Pizza Day today. Use that for an excuse to indulge on some of your favorite delicacies.